In this video, we are going to discuss reservation control access protocol. So, how does it work? We will be explaining that one with one good diagram. In the reservation method, a station needs to make a reservation before sending data and that is a fine, fine way to avoid the collision. That means, if you can book our seats on a train, on a train journey, then obviously, our seat will be occupied by myself only, there will be no collision. So, the time is divided into intervals. In each interval, a reservation frame precedes the data frame sent in that interval. Just look here. So, here we are having this respective slots are there and reservation has been made for say here 1, then 3, then 4. So, these are the respective nodes they have reserved and accordingly they are sending their data frames. So, what is happening? You see the data station 4, data station 3, data station 1 and again you see in this particular case the data station 1 has done the reservation. So, it will get a slot to transfer its data and here there is no reservation, no reservation has been done in the reservation frame. So, this is our reservation frame and depending upon the reservation done, the stations will be allowed to transmit their data and in this case only one station has reserved. So, it is transmitting its data, here no station has reserved right now. So, reservation frame is working in this way. So, in the reservation method, a station needs to make a reservation before sending data. So, that is the main, main logic in our reservation control access protocol. Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.